Hello, my friends. Um, uh, until now, you were saying that things are bad, but there is nothing you can do about that. And of course, now you have an opportunity to do something and actually do something very useful. There are alien friends. Uh, we are in communication with alien friends. They, uh, who are these alien friends? Uh, these are the alliance. This is an alliance called Gurk Fitnir. Gurk Fitnir. It is an alliance between Pleiadians, Yael, and Arcturians. It's not a galactic federation. Galactic federation is more like a wishful thinking, uh, a piece of wishful thinking. It's uh, it doesn't actually exist. It doesn't seem like it, it exists, at least not in our, in our part of the galaxy. But in terms of the aliens who deal currently, currently like in 2013, they deal with Earth. Gurk Fitnir seems to be most influential of the positive. Aliens. Um, so how do they look? Pleiadians you possibly know, know very well. Uh, Pleiadians are human looking, very much human looking. Um, typical would be tall blondes, very pretty as, as far as I, I'm told. I have never seen one. Um, the color of the skin can vary and the, the hair can be blonde or to the orange, red, brown. Yael, uh, you can Google it. I will post here the name Yael so you can really Google. And um, these are hybrids. They are our descendants. They look very much like greys, but they have much of human, earth human DNA. And they are friendly to us. They are not currently running a hybridization program. This was done by Grays. So Yael are separate from the Grays, Zeta Reticuli Grays who ran the hybridization program. Next one are Arcturians and I don't know how do they look. Uh, Bashar says that they don't look like anything because they are not physical, they are spiritual. And if they were to be presented on Earth they would look like orange orbs. And Arcturians are basically the spirits that control the, the, the project, the Earth project, and actually uh, the situation in a big part of the galaxy, our part of the galaxy. Um, Yael were selected until now they were selected and they still hold that position to be the first to do the, the contact with the humans. And because the humans are not ready and the yell are not ready, it's not happening. It is not happening. But what happened recently, in the last few months, a yell, actually Gurk Fitnir, started human encampments or human colonies, human teams, they invited volunteers to their ships, to their motherships, and and started talking to them. And it it, it came out uh, a quite a challenging process for both for humans and for the aliens. The aliens were involved. Eliran, uh, a nice representative from other race, and of obviously Yale. And humans were a bit scared by their looks and um, by their behavior, which was friendly, but you know, humans were scared anyway. And um, the aliens actually didn't know what, how, to, how to deal with, with, with the humans initially. Right now, the situation is much better. There is more humans there and they kind of found a way both of them, uh, the, the aliens and the humans, found a way to talk to each other. So currently there are about, there are exactly three colonies. 
of small size between I would say four humans to up to you know the biggest time I think it was about over 20 so total about there is about 20 to 30 humans up there in the space possibly in another dimension actually I think they're in, in our dimension Yayela is certainly from another dimension Pleiadians I don't know I think they're all from from next dimension up they are from four dimension and uh, for sorry so they, the, uh, but the colonies might be in in our dimension. I'm not sure. So, um, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So there are nice quarters. They kind of give humans as much space as they think com uh, for is for humans co comfortable. So, like this room maybe for living, and there is other uh, rooms for meetings, and they have um, learning classes. They have. Um, some kind of exercise place, food place, and they do uh, field trips. So, so uh, it's pretty nice and comfortable. Humans feel happy, relatively happy in phys in, in terms of phys their physical uh, physical life. Nobody's doing surgeries, surgical experiments on humans. Uh, it's 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 a different story by different aliens, not related here. There is nothing negative of that sort happening. So these, the, so that's the colonies. Um, how the, the stay of the humans is temporary. Humans are taken and returned back. And what is interesting, they are returned back in a way that their peers don't even notice that humans were absent. So they can spend a week or two weeks up in the colony. They call it encampments because they don't don't like like the idea that we colonize them, but I I, I like the word colony and I think it's okay. Uh, so the humans spend two weeks in encampments and come back a few minutes later after they left. So their friends and families don't even notice their absence. The humans do remember the their time in the colonies, but. Not everybody believes them, so, and I actually, I never met anyone who have visited the colonies. All my information comes directly from them through a friend channeler. So all this information goes through a channeler. But I have regular com com communications with them, and I know it's true. I know it is true. Um, so... Are they inviting applications from you to volunteer to work at the colonies? I will tell you how to, to apply, but but first about the work. What is the work? Um, the work is learning and communicating. That's basically the work. Um, the aliens have very difficult time understanding humans. They are uh, understand the physiology, medicine, the language they easily can translate, but understanding the emotions, understanding our separation, understanding our diversity, uh, especially difficult is the politics, obviously the politics. So, um, so they talk to humans trying to understand more and more, and they learn fast, relatively fast. We are vastly different from the aliens. That's why it's so difficult for them to understand us. So the main work is finding common grounds, explaining how we are, and understanding them. They also want people with psychic abilities and telepathic abilities. I'll stop and continue just in a second. So they want people with uh, telepathic abilities, psychic abilities, uh, because they, 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 they're telepaths. Uh, telepaths, basically, it's uh, much more information and feelings and honest information can be transferred through telepathic connections. So they look for people who are talented in that way. So that would be their choice. Obviously, they need good people. They don't want any trouble in the colony, and they don't like liars. They want honest people which are good, with good heart, which are, have good integrity. Um, again, they want to assemble nice working teams, so 
not only telepaths are welcome um, artists musicians video video movie makers youtube youtubers youtube bloggers any creative people are, are welcome because uh, it's a big a big part of uh, you know the work in the colony is to understand them for them to understand us and for us to understand them scientists are also welcome if if they're not liars all right um, organizers um, you know just to happen to, to make the things happen to organize the team of humans in the colony to make them work together uh, be happy together organize it so people with human skills people skills are welcome uh, families with children the, the aliens like children children a lot because children are much more telepathic than adults of there are a few other movie makers I mentioned because recording movies is is part of the work in the colony uh, people who understand aliens research aliens who think more in terms of how the aliens are, are <coughs> in the last one the, the important category you may have no telepathic ability, be a poor organizer, but if you have that quality to think globally and to think globally in a positive way, that would be, uh, you possibly would be most welcome. So people like Dalai Lama, people who think like Sakharov, uh, Walter Cronkite, people who think globally, think positively, honest inside, with good heart, who would help the humanity to go through the crisis, which we have right now, and go through enlightenment and ascension. And ascension, uh, you have to understand that it would be more biological evolution step than, than, uh, than, than anything else. So, ascension as an evolutionary step up as leaving the world the old negative world and moving towards new human society which the colonies are designing together with uh, with the aliens so that is so they want the humans to organize themselves in the colonies and i want them to we want the humans to understand the aliens and then tell back to the earth come back to the earth tell through means of television and YouTube how things are up there and how they understand you know where the civilization goes and how to solve the problems they have the knowledge but we have down on earth we have free will and it's up to all components us here humans up in the colony and the aliens and the gods and the angels and the spirits to to invent, to invent the future for the Earth. It's not invented yet. There are multiple versions and they're not invented. Okay, so that's the work in the colony, to invent the future. That's, you know, telepathy, inventing the future, learning each other, that's major activities. Applications, so how do you apply? Um, you write email to them, they can read email. They don't respond by email, which I think is their mistake. They should be, you know, they have technology, they just are afraid to they're afraid they are very very slow going in this direction they don't want to start the contact sooner than before says start the public awareness of the contact sooner you know they do here and there but but they don't give us any proof they don't leave us any proof of uh, of the existence physical something like emails so you can write email to them and they, I will post here the email which is sign up to go at gmail.com sign up to go at gmail.com you also can look up at the website it's just a one page website right now uh, humancolony.org org humancolony.org and if you have questions you can email me and here is my email It will be ms204a at gmail.com.
Oh, two zero four oh five oh seven at gmail dot com. Yes, and what do you write in the application? Uh, it's a you know it can be short, it can be long. They can read pretty fast. Don't worry about that. It can be very long. Um, first, you have to really decide for yourself if you want to go. Obviously, you don't have much information, and I don't have all the information. Um, understand that they wouldn't take everybody. They are picking and choosing best what they think is, is best for the colony. Right now, it's, it's run by them. Hopefully, soon the colony will be running itself by itself, or it will be a mixed combination of humans and aliens who look at the candidates and uh, invite them. They can look you up easily. You don't don't have to provide your name. If you want to, you know, to keep your name secret, it's fine. You can use nickname. They can trace it easy, easier, easier than you know, secret services. They can. The aliens are very advanced in this way. They, you know, as long as the mail comes to that mailbox, they will, they will trace you. They have that ability. They don't understand you well, but uh, they, they can trace people. I know that for sure. Um, so name is not important. Uh, your inner desire to go. Don't, don't just go because you're, you hate humans. You have to go because you love humans. That's also important. Um, how long can you go? Can you go by yourself and disappear for you know, for how long can you disappear? For, for, ye for days, weeks, months, years, forever? Can you go forever? Can you go alone just by yourself? Or do you need your dog to go with you? Do you need, or, you know, if you have to take the dog, you have to say it. Uh, one of the colonies allows uh, families with children and people with pets. Uh, so, so. It, it is an option. Obviously, you know, the ideal candidate would be everything which I said, you know, committed, so they don't, uh, they don't need to um, investigate. So, uh, right, why do you want to go? What do you want to contribute? Uh, how sure you are that you are, that you want to go? Because if you just commit fully, full-heartedly, then it's much easier for them because if you if they are not sure if you want to go but they want you they have to find a way to communicate to you obviously if you are a telepath or psychic they would communicate to you telepathically that is perfect uh, if you are not telepath they would have to find someone telepathic who would be able to talk to you like your friend who is a psychic uh, channeler uh, and and that limits tremendously their ability to invite volunteers to the colony so so they asked me to help and that's my way of that's my way of helping you uh, helping you and them to uh, to bond together so they obviously need more volunteers and they need best of humans they their major disappointment I'll tell you yes which one is that, is that humans are selfish even the best ones of us are uh, so, what is the word, limited, selfish, harmed, damaged, that we cannot think globally. We want best for us, and we can't help aliens to help the humanity as a whole. They want global thinkers, telepaths, nice people. All right, so if you're one of those or, or all of them together, um, send a mail. Obviously, we can guarantee that this will not be screened by secret services. Obviously, it might be. It might, I, I'm, I'm sure it will be, but but uh, it's not a big sin to want to go. It's not an enemy. These are friends. Um, so, obviously, I, I submitted my... I was the first one to submit the application. I'm still being considered. Um, so I invite those of you who want to volunteer to go, tell you know how, for how long can you go and uh, and what you can contribute and how my how how sure are you that you want to go, and then hopefully they will have lots of applications to choose from and they pick best teams up there, bring them up there and uh, 
create a miracle to basically save the earth and create a new 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 human civilization which will be just trans our, help transforming our civilization to a new evolutionary step all right thank you for listening uh, check the links and check the links under this video I will put the li same links under there so they will be clickable so on the video you can click and read a little bit more and you're welcome to send me email with any questions hopefully I will be answering uh, hopefully I will be able to answer everybody goodbye how do you do this? Like that.